All right, so as you can see, there are some vibin' challenges this season. And if you get all the way to part three, in the middle of these challenges, first you have to use the E11 Blaster, which is the Star Wars weapon and get 500 damage. Kind of easy, doable in Team Rumble. But then after you complete that, you've got to get a device uplink established. And then you have to defeat Darth Vader. Now it's worth noting that you should do these challenges because so far we've received a free spray as well as a free backblink. So who knows what else is in store? So keep up to date just so you don't miss out on any of these. All right, we're gonna land right here and hopefully get the challenge for Darth Vader. I'm pretty sure this is it. Just gonna land right on the little beacon over here. Let's see if this is it. Hello, I am yes. Amy. I am the scientist's favorite, so it has been programmed, and so it shall be. Forever. The relic is in possession of a Darth Vader, and our only option is to take it back by force. I like how scared she was. She was like, Darth Vader? And there it is. Defeat Darth Vader. So if you've never fought Darth Vader before, as soon as the match starts, his shuttle comes blazing by you. Right there. And then a red indicator will appear on the minimap, or not the minimap, the actual map, as to where he's going to land. Uh, I don't actually see it right now. Where is it? Where did he go? Okay, the red indicator didn't appear. But he's all the way... Oh, that's right here. That was weird. Normally it's red. Yeah, right there is where he is. I didn't even see his ship. You didn't? Maybe it was glitched. That was weird. So anyway, I know that the challenge says you have to actually defeat him. But we've had challenges like this in the past where you have to defeat the big boss on the map. Wolverine, Gunner, uh, what was that one guy's name in Chapter 2 Season 6? Raz, I think, in the center of the map. And in all these challenges, if you remember my previous guides, all you have to do is hit him for one single point of damage. One time. And then let someone else do the dirty work. So that's where Nolan comes in. He's going to try to kill Darth Vader after I damage him once. But you have to be alive. If you get knocked, I think it still counts, but if you get finished, you're done. And it doesn't count anymore. So he also has stormtroopers near him. I think we have guys coming in too, Nolan. Yeah, there are. I okay, see so one. I'm gonna land a little ways away and... I mean, I'm not too far away, but... So as long as I stay alive... And hopefully nobody kills him. Good, but you'll call the E11 no, it's bad. Are you fighting him right now? What about the other guy that landed there? He's shooting him right now. Okay, let me get a lick on Darth Vader real quick. You better hurry up. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I hit him. I hit him. So now I'm going to let someone else kill him. Why is he shooting at me? What did I do to you? Oh, the other guy? Oh, jeez. Yeah, that other team is still... Kill the guy, not Darth Vader. They're killing him. Okay. Oh, boy, down one. Okay. Oh, God, he's coming your way, Nolan. This thing's not breaking. Okay, watch it. That guy's teammate. What the? No. He just blew up my mushroom somehow. Finish him, Nolan. Do it. Do it. You really just... Come on, Nolan, he's almost dead. He's one shot. If he could just... Did you drop the robot? Yes! I killed, I killed him, but I also died. It worked, yes. Right here, so there's a kid coming over towards me. Oh, he rests his teammate, too. Unfortunately. I'm... Well, I just wanted to show that it worked. Hold on. That's so unfortunate. I have no health or anything. <laughs> I'll come back. I was, just, I was just trying to kill him. So 100% proof right there that Nolan killed Darth Vader... And all I did was touch him one single time. A little bit of damage. And it counted. How awesome is that? So that is the fastest and easiest method to defeating Darth Vader.